The gait cycle describes the movement of one leg through a full stride, from initial contact of the heel to the next contact of the same heel. The gait cycle is broken down into the stance phase, 60% of the gait cycle, and the swing phase, making up 40%. The stance phase and swing phase are broken down further into sub-phases, some of which will be important to understand as you work on your walking technique. Initial contact begins with the contact of the forward heel. This is the beginning of double leg support, which is 60% of the gait cycle. During loading response, the forefoot is lowered to the flat position and the weight is shifted onto the forward leg. The tibia moves to a position perpendicular to the ground. This is the first gait rocker. During mid stance, the tibia advances forward as the body moves over the standing leg foot. This is the beginning of knee extension and single leg support. Mid stance continues to the point just before the standing leg heel lifts. This is the second gait rocker. Terminal stance begins as the standing leg heel lifts and ends with the initial contact of the opposite heel. The ankle goes from dorsiflexion to plantar flexion. This is the third gait rocker. In pre-swing, the foot shifts from the ball to the toes as it prepares to swing forward. This occurs while the other leg is going through loading response. In initial swing, the knee flexes and the ankle dorsiflexes as the swing leg travels to the mid stance position. In mid swing, the swing leg knee extends as the body continues to move forward. The phase ends when the standing heel lifts. Terminal swing parallels terminal stance and ends when the heel makes initial contact. 